prophets call ourselves to worship. Blessed be the name of the Lord who redeems us from sin and death. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows that we might die to sin and live for righteousness. Let us pray. Merciful and eternal God, you are our refuge and our help. We turn to you in times of heartache and trouble. We pray to share your compassion with all those in need of healing. Comfort to those who mourn, peace to the dying, strength to healthcare workers, wisdom and compassion to leaders and courage to reach out to all in love. Show us the truth of your saving power. Show us the way beyond the grave. Show us the life that is everlasting. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 26, verses 31 through 35. Then Jesus told them, This very night you will all fall away on account of me. For it is written, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. But after I have risen, I will go ahead of you into Galilee. Peter replied, Even if all fall away on account of you, I never will. Truly I tell you, Jesus answered, this very night, before the rooster crows, you will disown me three times. But Peter declared, even if I have to die with you, I will never disown you. And all the other disciples said the same.
reading from the Gospel of Matthew, the 26th chapter, verses 36 to 46. Then Jesus went with them to a place called Gethsemane. And he said to his disciples, sit here while I go over there to pray. He took with him Peter and two sons of Zebedee and began to be grieved and agitated. Then he said to them, I am deeply grieved even to death. Remain here and stay awake with me. And going a little farther, he threw himself on the ground and prayed, My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Yet not what I want, but what you want. Then he came to the disciples and found them sleeping. And he said to Peter, So could you not stay awake with me one hour? Stay awake and pray that you may not come into the time of trial. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Again he went away for a second time and prayed, My father, if this cup cannot pass unless I drink it, your will be done. Again he came and found them sleeping, for their eyes were heavy. So leaving them again, he went away and prayed for the third time, saying the same words. Then he came to the disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? See, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Get up, let us be going. See, my betrayer is is at hand. Reading from the book of Matthew, the 26th chapter, verses 47 to 56. Listen now for the word of God. While he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived. With him was a large crowd with swords and clubs, sent from the chief priests and the elders of the people. Now the betrayer had given them a sign, saying, The one I will kiss is the man. Arrest him. At once he came up to Jesus and said, Greetings, Rabbi, and kissed him. Jesus said to him, Friend, do what you have to do. Then they came and laid hands on Jesus and arrested him. Suddenly, one of those with Jesus put his hand on his sword, drew it, and struck the slave of the high priest, cutting off his ear. Then Jesus said to him, Put your sword back in its place. For all who take the sword will perish by the sword. 
Do you think that I cannot appeal to my father and he will at once send me more than twelve legions of angels? But how then would the scriptures be fulfilled, which say it must happen in this way? At that hour, Jesus said to the crowds, Have you come out with swords and clubs to arrest me as though I were a bandit? Day after day I sat in the temple teaching, and you did not arrest me. But all this has taken place so that the scriptures of the prophets may be fulfilled. Then all the disciples deserted him and fled. Now Jesus stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? And Jesus said, You say so. But when he was accused by the chief priests and the elders, he did not answer. Then Pilate said to him, Do you not hear how many accusations they bring against you? But Jesus gave him no answer, not even to a single charge, so that the governor was greatly amazed. Now at the festival, the governor was accustomed to release a prisoner for the crowd, anyone they wanted. At that time, they had a notorious prisoner named Barabbas. So after they had gathered, Pilate said to them, Who do you want me to release for you, Barabbas or Jesus, who is called the Messiah? For he realized that it was out of jealousy that they had handed him over. While he was sitting on the judgment seat, his wife sent word to him, saying, Have nothing to do with that innocent man, for I have been greatly troubled today because of a dream about him. Now the chief priests and the elders persuaded the crowds to ask for Barabbas and to have Jesus killed. Again, the governor said to them, Which of the two do you want me to release for you? And they said, Barabbas. Pilate said to them, Then what should I do with Jesus, who is called the Messiah? All of them said, Let him be crucified. Then he asked, Why? What evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, Let him be crucified. Oh, Lord. 
wrong, O oh God, will you neglect my prayer? Will you forget these tears of dark despair? Forsake not man but me, your seedless son. I, Christ the Son, obey your great command, enduring punishment for sinful Christ the Son bear all their sin alone, embracing judgment from your glorious throne. A son, a spotless lamb, I shed my blood to bring them boldly to your face, my God. I, Christ the Son, bear. judgment from your glorious throne. A son, a spotless lamb, I shed my blood to bring them boldly to your face, my God. Forsake not man but me, your sinless son. So when Pilate saw that he could do nothing, but rather that a riot was beginning, he took some water and washed his hands before the crowd, saying, I am innocent of this man's blood. See to it yourselves. Then the people as a whole answered, His blood be on us and our children. So he released Barabbas for them, and after flogging Jesus, he handed him over to be crucified. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the governor's headquarters and they gathered the whole cohort around him. They stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him, and after twisting some thorns into a crown, they put it on his head. They put a reed in his right hand and knelt before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews! They spat on him and took the reed and struck him on the head. After mocking him, they stripped him of the robe and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him away to crucify him.
wondrous love is this, O oh my soul, O oh my soul. What wondrous love is this, O oh my soul? What wondrous love is this that caused the Lord of bliss to bear the dreadful curse for my soul, for my soul? Matthew 27, 32 to 44, the crucifixion of Jesus. As they went out, they came upon a man from Cyrene named Simon. They compelled this man to carry his cross. And when they came to a place called Golgotha, which means place of a skull, they offered him wine to drink mixed with gall. But when he tasted it, he would not drink it. And when they had crucified him, they divided his clothes among themselves by casting lots. Then they sat down there and kept watch over him. Over his head, they put the charge against him, which read, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Then two bandits were crucified with him, one on his right and one on his left. Those who passed by derided him, shaking their heads and saying, you who would destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself. If you are the Son of God, come down from the cross. In the same way, the chief priests also, along with the scribes and elders, were mocking him, saying, He saved others. He cannot save himself. He is the King of Israel. Let him come down from the cross now, and we will believe in him. He trusts in God. Let God deliver him now if he wants to, for he said, I am God's son. The bandits were crucified with him also and taunted him in the same way.
darkness came over the whole land until about three o'clock in the afternoon. And at about three o'clock, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Ali, Ali, lemma samaktani, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of the bystanders heard it, they said, this man is calling for Elijah. And so someone ran at once and got a sponge, filled it with sour wine, put it on a stick and gave it to Jesus to drink. But the others said, wait, let us see if Elijah will come to save him. And Jesus cried with a loud voice and breathed his last. At that moment, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth shook and the rocks split. The tombs also were opened. And many of the bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. After his resurrection, they came out of the tombs and entered the holy city and appeared to many. Now when the centurion and those who were with him, who were keeping watch over Jesus, saw the earthquake and what had happened, they said, truly, this man was God's son. Many women were also there, looking on from a distance. They had followed Jesus from Galilee and had provided for them. Among them were Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James and Joseph, and the mother of the sons of Zebedee. When it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who was also a disciple of Jesus. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be handed to him. So Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen cloth, and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had hewn in the rock. He then rolled a great stone to the door of the tomb and went away. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary were there opposite the tomb. Oh, 
sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you Crucified, my Lord. Were you there when the sun refused to shine? Were you there when the sun refused to shine? Thank you. 